welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week I wanted to make some adjustments to my studio area. I feel like it's just cramped and cluttered and it's just not working for me. I know I literally just did this like a few videos ago, but I need to do more. My whole side area over here just turned into a dumping ground to put things that I didn't know what to do with. Anyway, so I'm just gonna organize things a little bit and try to get my life together. What I ended up doing is moving my desk to the bedroom to free up some space for my paintings. I'm getting about 25 more paintings to my house, so I just want to have the space available for when they come. I don't want to feel overwhelmed by my things, and I honestly don't like unnecessary clutter. Moving out the desk alone actually helped a lot more than I thought it would. I feel like I really just wasn't aware of how much space it was actually taking up. I wanted to clear everything out and start fresh. Things started to get really out of control behind the camera, which is why I look so stressed and confused. The gels that I was moving were not heavy, they were just extremely awkward to carry and then the bag that was attached to it was a bag of soil and it was taped to the bottom of the gels. I don't know, I don't know. This is me remembering that I had to move the table out and I was having like a micro meltdown about it. They're short and sweet but very intense. I decided that since I had more wall space since the desk was gone, I might as well use it. So I decided to hang some paintings, and then that also just frees up some floor space for me as well. I was trying to plan a bit on how I wanted to organize my wall, but as I started doing that, I got really distracted and started filming a TikTok. I actually think that the trend of turning pictures into an album cover is kind of hilarious and cool at the same time. I got cold, so I put on a sweater that my sister-in-law gave me for my birthday slash Christmas. It says, when you're dead inside, but it's Christmas. It's literally been snowing here for like three days straight. And although this has been a really mild winter, my apartment has been freezing. After that long battle of painting Tetris, I realized that I actually couldn't fill the whole wall with paintings because I still had to put the table back. I didn't want to accidentally hit any of my paintings when I pushed the table in or anything like that, so I decided to just leave that area blank. I honestly don't know how my neighbor wasn't super annoyed because I started hammering around 10.30. Or maybe she was super annoyed and we'll just never know. When I was satisfied with how everything was hung, I started putting a few things back. I like organizing my paintings from smallest to biggest because I feel like it looks nice and then it also keeps them from toppling over. Also I bought a new lamp, there's just one corner of my apartment that's extremely dark and I needed a lamp. I don't understand why this small thing came in this huge box, but okay. But anyway, I assembled this lamp pretty easily. Actually, my secret talent is that I can easily put together IKEA furniture, so. This all kind of worked out perfectly because I just finished a commission and I can use the cardboard to pack my painting. My desk actually looks worse right now than it originally did because I had taken a lot of things from that corner. I had just cleaned up and put it on my desk, which I don't know why I did that instead of just putting it away, but here we are. Whenever I work on a project, I feel like I go through this weird destruction of my studio space where everything is so messy in the beginning and then it's like in the middle of making a project, it looks okay and then at the end, my studio space is a complete and utter disaster. I'm kind of learning that that is my process and I've accepted it. But if I could just clean things up a little bit, that would just, it would be so much more helpful, I think, to me. So that's why I'm doing this. Any loose drawings or paintings, I just stick in a sketchbook because I think that that's like the easiest way to keep things organized and also keep your work looking nice because you have something to actually put it in. So I think the best way is just to stick things in a sketchbook. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. I already feel more productive and ready to work, so that's a good sign.
Now it's time to move on to packing my commission. I have some leftover watercolor paper that I'm cutting up to write a thank you note to the client. It's just like something small and extra that you can do to let people know that you care and I know that people 100% appreciate it. I then carefully wrap the painting in a piece of cartridge paper, then tape down the edges. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys like this video, then give it a like. If you wanna subscribe, then subscribe, and I will see you guys next week for I don't know what yet, but I will see you guys next week. Bye.